This is the plaintiff, Jacqueline Gonzalez. She says she was in a car driven by the defendant. The bad driver crashed. She went through the windshield and her head got cracked open. There was blood all over the place. She was taken by ambulance to the hospital and her very expensive glasses were left in the car. The defendant promised she'd get the glasses back to her but hasn't. That's why she's suing for the $750 she's owed. This is the defendant, Aliva Liz Torres. She says her car was unfortunately junked after the wreck. And since she was bedbound for a week, she has no idea where the plaintiff's glasses are. Besides, she never even saw the girl's glasses to begin with and has no idea if they were actually in the car or not. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. She's accused of not seeing too clearly. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff was in a car the defendant was driving. The defendant got in a terrible accident. The plaintiff actually went through the windshield, but the plaintiff's glasses are now missing. Now, the defendant doubts the glasses were ever there. It's the case of, you are the windshield beneath my glasses. Jacqueline Gonzalez? Yes. You are suing Ali Belice? Ali Belis, the E is silent at the end. I've never heard that name before. Awesome. Was that invented for Yeah, it's your... a combination of two names. Okay, Ali Belis at Torres for $750 uh, for some glasses that were lost after an accident that you're going to tell me all about and $100 that you say she owed you for dinner that you fronted her. What happened? Um, well, that night was the first night I had met her. We both have a mutual friend. Um, we had known of, of each other, but we haven't necessarily met. So that night was the first night. We went out, we decided we were gonna go out, um, have some food, you know, a hookah. What ended up happening is Miss Doris was short on a couple of cash. So I told her, I said, here, you know, here's my card. When we leave, you just pay me the money we, when we get out of here. Um, and she told me, yeah. On the way out, we got and into- And the bill a, for her portion of the dinner was 100? Yes. Okay. Um, after that, we got into a very serious car accident. Seriously? Yeah, I basically just woke up in her lap. Um, and then, you know, the injuries or whatever. Tell me about the accident. Um, basically, you know, I don't know what exactly caused the accident. I just have the police report. What, what happened? Unfortunately, my, my, my lawyer told me that I can't discuss the, the actual accident here. What, did you get charged with a ticket or not? That's factual, that's not no, you discussing. No, ma'am. Okay, was there another car involved or not? Yes, ma'am. Are you being sued? No. Uh, or are you yeah. suing? I'm, I'm being sued and suing. And suing. Yes. All right. So the accident happens. There's a dispute about whose fault it is. But it's pretty bad, right? Yeah. Um, she was hurt bad. She was hurt badly. Did I you have stitches? A, yeah, I had 39. They, they couldn't count how many stitches because there were so many stitches. But I had 39 staples in my head. Um, then where did they put the staples? Across it, my head from here to here. Like, uh, forehead? I have a... A yeah. scar that I've been still, you know, trying to take care of at the moment. But it basically, I was scalped from here to here. Lordy, lordy. All right. Um, so at some point, right after the accident, how long later do you realize I left my glasses in the car? Well, while I was in the hospital, because I couldn't see, um, right before... Did you go through the windshield? No. Mm. You hit I the windshield and came bounce back? Yeah. All right. So um, after that, you know, we had been communicating on how we were going to go about getting the glasses because... Um, how long after did you realize you'd left the glasses in the car? I knew immediately. Um, so the next you're communicating, day. but how long after are you communicating because... Uh, the next you day were, we started yeah, the next, texting. No, yeah, the next day. Right. Yeah, for sure. Right. So yeah. you, and you're keeping in touch with her and asking every how she's... Day. We, yeah. Did you visit her? Every day, all day long. Did you long. visit her? I didn't because she had, you know, she had just suggested that it might not be a good idea considering her family was so distraught and yeah. I wanted to give her her space. I was also bed bound, so I, I wasn't Did like- Did you suffer any injuries? I know not yeah. bad, but- Yeah, my, my clavicle, my scapula. What happened to them? Um, my shoulder came out of place and my scapula, I'm not really sure. Were you under medical care? Um, I went for like two sessions, but when everybody started suing me, I just got really scared about how I was going to end up paying for everything. So I just didn't treat myself. Yeah, you know, that's why you pay insurance premiums. But I have really low insurance and it didn't that cover a lot of things. That might be an issue. I know. That might be I know. an issue, but I know. all right. But I was just, I wanted to make sure, honestly, and I've told her this, she knows, well, hopefully she will say that no, I'm not no, lying. I wanted to make sure that she, person. she was, I know. Okay, so what happens though? You ask her, can you get my glasses? Because it's her car. And where, yeah. where, where did your car end up? 
Uh, the tow truck company took it. My brother's also a tow truck driver. Why didn't you have your brother take it? I, well, I tried to call him throughout that night, and when we were in the hospital, he wasn't picking up his phone. And then... Um, uh, do you have a good relationship with your brother? Not anymore. I, I've i tried to be a, a, the best sister I could possibly what be. What kind of person is your brother? Untrustworthy. I'm not talking to you, am I? Was I talking to you? No. Then stop. Okay. What kind of person is your brother? You think this is easy for her? Go ahead. What kind of person is your brother? I'm sure you love him, but what kind of person is your brother? Well, what kind of person is him? Is he, is he responsible? Is he irresponsible? He's not the, the person that he was raised to be. Meaning what? He, you know, he betrayed me. He kicked me when I was down. And what did he do? He what happened in this case? This, well, I gave him the $100 to give to her. I entrusted him with my car. Um, according to him, the glasses were in the car. Weren't? Well, he, he didn't say that they were or they weren't. He said, I'm going to get the glasses to her. He was unclear about it. And then he, I would call him and call him and she would call me and I wouldn't want to not respond to her. I wouldn't want to not answer her calls. I felt bad about the way she was. I, ha I harbored a lot of guilt because of my other best friend and her being hurt. And it was really hard for me. And then I'm trying to reach out to my brother, the only person that I thought I could count on in this situation, because he knows about accidents. He knows about the towing. He knows about that stuff. I don't know anything. So it just came to the point where he just kind of, I, I, I was begging him. And he said, just give me her number. And then they started communicating. And I Did said. Did you communicate with the brother? Tell me what he said to you. He said he was going to drop the stuff off because. Did he say he had it? Or he, he said, said he was yeah. going to go get it? Yeah. Even in the text messages that Wait, she sent me. what did he me, say? Did he say he had it or he, he was going to He said that he was on his way, that he was going to stop out because I was at a doctor's Okay, so he didn't have it yet? No, he had it. Oh, he said, he I had, have he it He had it me. for a couple of days. He had the glasses yeah, and he and had the, the, money. the money. And then what happened? And then he was supposed to call me later on. I called him, nothing. I texted him, nothing. So I, call, you know, I called her and I'm like, you know, what's going on? You know, he's playing games again. What's going on? What are we going to do? Do you know him from before? Yes. Oh, you do know him from before? Yes. The best friend, my best friend that was in the vehicle, well, mutual best yeah. friend. Because who, who was, was his, thank you very much. Was thank his? You, was his girlfriend years ago. So he was never fond on me to begin with. Would you ever disown a sibling if they, if they stole from you? Um, I would keep my distance and... Um, would you disown them? Would you just say, I don't want to have anything to do with you? That's the question. I would, yes. Would you disown your sibling? No. No matter what they did to you? No, I wouldn't. What do you think? No. What I'd if they were really heinous to you? Um, I'd I mean, be that mad. That where they don't respect you. I'd be mad for a long time, but I wouldn't disown my sister. You know what that means? They can do anything to you, right? Besides, kill me, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was going to go short of that, going inside the courtroom. What does he say? What is his answer as to where the glasses and the money are? There is no answer. He avoids me, and he's stolen from me after the fact, too. I'm, how, that's what I'm trying to say. How did he steal from you again after that? Well, I heard he came in through the window, and, 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 and he took my PlayStation 3 and my headphones. Who told you that? Well, they were missing and nobody has the keys to the house, but my grandmother said that he said that he came in to take a shower and then my stuff was missing. I mean, nobody would come in and just take those two items. I mean, I'm sure somebody would, you know, carry out a TV What did he do with your car? He junked it. Was your car a total loss? Uh, I think it was, yeah. Because so he the junked it and deployed. kept the money? No, mm -hmm. he gave my mother, he gave my mother $300 to give to me. And I, I told her that I didn't want it. And, you know, that I wanted him to resolve the problem with, with, with Jackie. You should have taken the money and then given her, half, resolved half the problem with Jackie. Eventually, I ended up getting the money back. My mother used it. Okay. You know, she's in dire straits. My whole family is going through a bunch of stuff. But she used it and then gave it to me. So, essentially, okay. I did get the money. I'm All not right. going to deny that. Okay. Glasses are the least of our problems, aren't they? <laughs> yes. You know? So, as bad as everything looks to everybody, just try to keep your head about you and the perspective about you. You know, this case is kind of a tale of two cities because, I, and I, there's no way that I can convey this to all the people who are listening out there, but it's only through reading your texts to each other that um, I have this horrible flavor of the difference in your families. You know, you're talking about everything your sister has sacrificed to be able to bathe you, feed you, and be by your side, 
and you're talking about how your sibling has completely abandoned you and, and treats you horribly, and in your time of need, where you, one time where he can step up to the plate and be a man and be a brother, you know, he's, it's just been horrible. Um, we can't make people into something they aren't, and we can't, you can rely on basically one person in this world, and that's yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's it. All right, so what are we gonna do about the glasses? Um, I, I believe that you have at least some responsibility when you're, when you're going, when you tell her I'll take care of it, to leave it in the hands of somebody who does. And if you don't, I feel the same way you did for all those weeks that you were texting or saying you were gonna handle it, you were gonna handle it, I feel the same way you felt. My gut is the same gut you had, which is, yeah, you have to handle it. So um, I am gonna order you to pay her $750. And I wish you both the best of luck. Thank, Thank okay. you. This was not easy for the defendant to go through, obviously. Watching it was difficult. And how are you feeling coming out of the courtroom? I, I feel like a, somewhat a burden has been lifted. I mean, it's just one of the things that I have to take care of with everything else that involved the accident. Now I just have to sue my brother. Mm -hmm. You're going to do that? No. <laughs> no? I, I mean, for what? I mean, obviously he doesn't have anything if he has to take from somebody that has nothing. So. All right. All right. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Head right around the corner here. It's fortunate that we can even get to talk to you after you. Uh, after <laughs> what you went through. Uh, you. How are you feeling coming out after all this now is You know, over. I mean, I'm still recovering, but I am starting to feel, you know, a little better. I'm just happy with the verdict. You know, there's no bad blood between her and I. I know she's not a bad person. It's just I needed to get taken care of. You know, I work hard for my things, so I expect them. And you, are you back to 100%? Not yet. I wish that would be lovely, but you're gonna not get yet. There? I'm still, yeah, I'm still in recovery. You're going to get there, right? I am. Okay, over to Harvey. Look, Kurt, I mean, the defendant here is a victim, too, but the bottom line is the defendant had a legal responsibility to cover the plaintiff's loss.